Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy watching adorable guinea pigs, learning how to care for them, seeing product hauls or reviews, and anything else guinea pig related, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a video. Hello piggy people. So I just finished cleaning everybody out. Oh my goodness, it was a long night. So I've spent over two hours doing everything. Tonight I had to shave Apple's bum, give her a bum bath, and then Pecan here also got a bum bath. And I had nails to clip, and every night Velvet, well every night for cage cleaning, Velvet gets cream on her feet and I check her hernia. Hey, that was rude. She snubbed me. But look at that tidy bum. Nice and fresh. So it was a long time. Um, I worked today. I worked for nine and a half hours. Left first thing this morning and got home at about uh, almost six o'clock. And then I had about an hour to myself. And then I had to come down here to do meds and clean the cage. And now it is after 9 o'clock and I'll have about another hour and then I'll be back to bed because I have to work again tomorrow. So it has been a long day. But that is what I choose to do, right? Because I have chose to have piggies. So they take up a lot of my extra time. Especially right now with having Apple kind of being extra care and Pecan needs a little extra attention now as well. But that's okay. That's what happens though when you have 10 pigs and some are seniors. So luckily everybody seems to be stable, doing well. Um, I still have the vet bed underneath the main liners. And that's going awesome. Pecan's feet look great. She's feeling a lot better having extra pain medications. So that's very positive. Hey Miss Reese. Hey, sweetheart. You can see Huck back there. He's laying on a couch. And there's little Velvie's face. Isn't he handsome? Oh, it always feels so rewarding though once you're finished cleaning their cages and they're all enjoying it. So here's Annie and Annabelle's cage. There's Miss Annie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, gorgeous. I think Annabelle is in that corner. Those are her absolute favorite bed, is any corner thing. She likes to hide in there. And then here is Angus and Autumn. So just like the last few days, I have finally got Angus to just have normal poops. My goodness, it's been an ordeal. So I mentioned to you guys how once I moved these guys over here, Anything stressful to Angus gives him mushy poops. So he had poop problems, so I had to do a lot of probiotics and feeding him some Sherwood recovery food. And we would get it so he was pooping really good and then all of a sudden I couldn't find any poops from him because he was eating all of his own poops, which is fine because he was just trying to balance out his stomach. But then the next day he'd be back to some yucky poops. So then we'd be doing probiotics all over again. And it was becoming quite the ordeal. And I was starting to be like, okay, when is this ever going to go back to normal? But thankfully, we are back to normal now. Um, what I started giving him as well, which I think actually helped. Um, picked up some of the Sherwood digestive support. So it has a pineapple and papaya and then some natural herbs that help with motility and there's uh, B vitamins to help with appetite and energy so I've been giving him one of these morning and night and it seems to have done the trick so my goodness hopefully he's comfortable in his cage now uh, the other day I found on um, Autumn here when I was picking her up I could feel a bump and it, it turns out to be one of those sebaceous cysts so they're like the enlarged pore and it was open so a bunch of waxy stuff came out. It was probably about the size of a pea. So now I'm just going to have to watch. Most sebaceous cysts are fine. Like if you keep them empty, they're not going to fill up and get larger and larger and larger. But you do have to make sure they're not in a spot where they're chewing or scratching. 
So luckily she doesn't seem to bother it and it's staying not filled, if that makes sense. So sometimes you empty them and they fill right back up with this waxy sebum. But so far hers is staying pretty normal. I've had a lot of pigs who have those. It's very common for guinea pigs. So most of the ones I've ever seen were on my skinny pigs. Uh, Bullseye had a bunch. The only pig it ever caused a problem for was Kelvin. He actually had to have two surgically removed and that was because he was scratching it. So it was getting disgusting and could get infected and one of his also his brother Hobbs was trying to chew it so it was kind of messy but thankfully she's not bothering hers um, Apple has one as well kind of in a similar spot on her side and it's once I squish the stuff out it hasn't filled up again and I actually can't find it in her fur so I guess that's good and pecan also has one. Pecans doesn't have an opening. So that happens as well. Sometimes they just don't have the enlarged pore part where you can see and squish stuff out. So those ones are best just to leave alone. You don't want to be poking it open. So hers is kind of like the size of a pea again and it's on her spine. But it hasn't changed for years so I just leave it. And as for the other pigs, uh, so far I haven't found any on anybody, but Kelvin had one, no Kelvin had two or three, Bullseye had a couple, Littlefoot had one, Barnaby had one, Grover had one, so quite a few pigs. If you want to know more about them, just google sebaceous cyst guinea pig and you can see what they look like. Some of them can cause problems though, but those are usually from... Um, being neglected, like not looking after them, or from pigs, you know, scratching them. So you just have to keep an eye on them. So I still have a little bit more work to do. There's a bunch of water bottles that need to be filled. And then finally, I will go sit down. I'm reading Harry Potter right now. I decided to start the books again. Uh, I've only read them all the way through once. I've tried to read them all the way through probably like six times and I get to varying degrees before I just don't feel like reading anymore so I've started once again right at the very beginning and we're gonna try to make our way through so those movies are one of my favorite movies to watch but I love to read the books because there's so much in the books that's not in the movies so who else is a Harry Potter fan anyway Oh, there's Miss Annabelle. She had to get some lotion put on her because she was pretty dry. So I used that Gorgeous Guineas Calendula Lotion. We had to stop using coconut oil because actually it was starting to make her really react. You would put it on her and she just seemed like crazy irritated and itchy. And she didn't like anything touching her. Like she wouldn't go in fleece beds. It was like it was really irritating her skin bad. So... That's the first that I've ever had that happen. So we've switched to the calendula lotion and luckily that doesn't seem to bother her. Not sure why, but she's um, my only pig that gets a bit dry. But it is what it is. Their bodies are all so different. Okay, you have hair on your eye. That looks like an autumn hair. So I'm gonna just stop filming and try to get that off. He's really bad for letting you get close to his face. Oh, did you shake it? No, you didn't shake it off. So, yeah. Him and Autumn both, if you start to like go to grab for them, they just freak out. They're little goobers. Hi, sweetie. Yep. And yet, I had Apple out on my, Apple, Autumn out on my lap and she just loves you to pet her. But reaching at them just freaks them out. Piggies, eh? They're all so weird. Okay, so um, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!